right, guys, we have this much anticipated basement. Everybody's been really looking forward to this one uh, right from the beginning uh, as, so, as we were doing some design work here. Uh, great comments, so you're really gonna enjoy this. So I'm at the foyer right here, and we always talk about this. We consider it a foyer just like your home. We have these glass uh, entry doors uh, to this walkout, letting in this natural light. The way this basement was set up, we had some challenges. Normally we'd want that natural light to come into the main part of the basement, but we had a bunch of utilities right here. So what we did was we created this foyer. We did a tray ceiling with the chandelier, and then we used this area as like a mud room so the kids could come in, take off their shoes, put them away, hang a coat, whatever. Now, this utility room also needed access, but we wanted this to look beautiful. So what we did here was we created some hidden doors right here in the foyer entrance, but you don't really know it's here. And we got the utilities and the storage, which is nice because the storage is right by the back door as well. So this area actually worked out really well. Um, and then the basement just goes from here. This is a very big basement. So I'm gonna start right over here. We have a room and um, the homeowner was just unbelievable. She had a vision of what she wanted and it was kind of, I thought a little radical at first, black doors and gold trim, but turned out fantastic. So she definitely has style and knows what she's talking about. This is actually gonna be like a Peloton room inside these barn doors. So we're gonna set this up. It's obviously not set up yet, but once again, created a tray ceiling in here. One of the themes you'll find throughout the basement and all of our jobs is we're really, really particular about making it feel and look like your home. So we had some duct work down the center. We move it to the side. We create a tray ceiling. Those are the things that really make a difference, that separate us from everyone else. And we truly make this feel like it's your home, not a basement. So we got that little bit of a hallway there and it just opens up to this. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. You can't even picture how nice this is. Now, one of the things that when we arrived on the job, there was some low ductwork literally right here in this area. And then we had these four columns and the homeowners were like, we're gonna pay thousands of dollars to remove these columns and do all this crazy stuff. Instead of doing that, we came up with this great idea of using them to our advantage, very symmetrically build them with the moldings and separate tray ceilings in each one. And you'll get another view right here how nice this really looks. But this is like the focal point and center of this basement. Again, it's a big basement. It has a lot of character. I'm just gonna swing around over here and we're gonna talk about the staircase. You know how important this is. We talk about this a lot. Great design on the spindles. We opened only one side here because on the other side we have a really cool home theater, which we'll get to shortly. But what's really nice about this is, although we have this great beautiful trim coming down the stairs, gorgeous, it's all white, and the stairs are done perfect, um, we have this black accent wall here. So, you know, again, definitely you would think a black wall, but it works perfect. Look, and especially with the detail that we created on this wall. So really worked out nice. And uh, again, coming, whether you're coming from the basement or from the house or from the outside, it's just fantastic. So a lot of basement to go here yet, guys. So this wide open area, we have this awesome family room. And, uh, you know, this leads right into the bar slash kitchenette. We built a custom wall unit over here. It's got a fireplace obviously the TV, uh, love the mirror of backsplash inside the two built-ins. Pay attention to the theme here too, because we custom built all these cabinets and the same detail on the doors is on the walls and on the barn doors. So it's really throughout the whole basement and you'll see it more even over here as we get into the bar. So even the detail here um, at the bar, again, we use that column to our advantage, created the bar right here. We got the shadow box details here. So a lot of molding in this basement and uh, it really looks great. Now pay attention to this. In this bar area, we had a lot of obstacles in the ceiling. So we didn't just drop the whole ceiling or do something funky. We created this awesome coffered ceiling, put a hi-hat in each, in each one, great bar, perfect design. All this was custom built on site. So none of this is purchased in the store. Even the shelving right here with the, with the uh, mirror backsplash. And when you're here and you just take a view out to the basement, it's fantastic. So as we, as we come out of this area and we walk around, you're gonna see how big this basement really is. And uh, so what we got here is we're, we're heading into the last section of the basement. We still have um, a gaming room behind me and we have a bathroom and a theater. So we'll jump in, we'll check out this bathroom first 
And a uh, decent sized bathroom, again, tray ceiling, beautiful chandelier. We got the vanity, shower, awesome tile work. Gotta love the black doors. And uh, behind me is actually this uh, gaming room for the kids. What's nice is they're closed behind these doors, so it's nice and quiet when you're in here doing their games. They got the dual TVs on the wall. We actually had a sump pump, and we kind of created this area very symmetrical. I uh, set it up so they can come here, game, shut the doors. They can still see the kids, see what's going on, but they don't hear them, you know, the whole ruckus uh, going on. Anyhow, last room we have right here is this home theater. I just want to point something out next to the home theater is we have this hidden door under the stairs. This is where the homeowners are keeping all the pillows and blankets and stuff for the home theater. So it's in a nice spot. Grab your pillow and blanket, go into the home theater. This is a really cool room. Um, it's much larger than most home theaters that we do. Um, once again, great tray ceilings, boxing out the ductwork. Um, we have this concession stand that we built right here. And it's interesting because we had some uh, things that we had to work around right here with uh, electrical panel. These two are also hidden doors, by the way. And uh, we have uh, panels and stuff in there that we had to hide. So we put the, uh, the service area right here in the center. Then we have three rows of seating. We have ground level, platform one, and platform two. Um, even the color choices in here are fantastic with the black and the grays and um, we got step lights going on in here, the sconces. I mean, everything about this job is just absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, you know, just really hope you guys enjoyed this one because we had a great time building and designing this with the homeowners. And uh, this is kind of like a lot different. And that's the one unique thing about us, guys. You know, we are here to do something out of the box thinking every single time. So when we get a, a project like this with a homeowner that has these, what they think, or, or it's crazy ideas, they're really not, nothing's crazy. Everything is unique, everything is amazing. Please follow us for much more of this. Thank you.